In other words, if the last century was about technology replacing brawn, this century could be about technology replacing brains. The middle class has been the foundation of British life for hundreds of years. Whilst manufacturing jobs disappeared in their millions during the 20th century, middle class Britain could still expect to buy a house, to have a job for life, and to see their living standards rise gently over time. Everything was standardized. But in the last five years, middle class earnings have crashed by 10%. The big question is why? The conventional wisdom is that the decline in middle-class living standards is the result of the financial crisis. And once the economy has started to recover, things will go back to normal. But what if that conventional wisdom is wrong? What if middle-class jobs are being whittled away forever? Are they going to be profitably employed? Are they going to be profitably employed? The economy is finally expanding. But if you're middle-class, you probably won't have noticed. There is wealth creation, but it's concentrated amongst the highest earners. I am middle class. In the middle, net job creation has stalled and incomes have stagnated. Some think the middle class is dying off. I am middle class. I know my place. We're used to the idea that blue collar jobs have been replaced by technology, like in manufacturing. But some believe we're on the cusp of a technological revolution that's going to see white collar jobs in areas like administration, accounting, medicine and the law start to be replaced by software and computer programs. In other words, if the last century was about technology replacing brawn, this century could be about technology replacing brains. This hollowing out of middle class jobs has been highlighted by the economist Tyler Cowen. Cowan is probably the most important economist you've never heard of. He's analysed the economic impact that technology is having on jobs and wages. In his view, it's enriching those at the top, but impoverishing the middle, where jobs are being automated into extinction. Why do you think that we're at this tipping point when it comes to technology? So what we've seen in Western economies over the last 40 years is that automation has replaced more and more jobs in the manufacturing sector. And this will continue. Computers are becoming much faster every year and the quality of software is increasing. So over time, more and more tasks can be done better and more cheaply by computers. Which professions, in your opinion, are going to lose out because of technology? Whether it be legal professions or professors or journalists, all of these to some growing extent we can automate. For instance, it's now possible that you can have computers grade essay exams and do a pretty good job of it. It's not that the job will go away altogether, but the job will change. There may be fewer human beings required in the process. Even legal services, you would think, well, a robot cannot serve as a lawyer. And of course, that's true. But we are finding that computerized search is taking over a lot of the jobs that used to be done by legal associates. Think even of medical diagnosis. We're probably less than two to three years away for having the artificial intelligence program named Watson be better at medical diagnosis than virtually all doctors. The economy is creating new well-paid jobs in areas like business, computing and finance. There's just not that many of them. In fact, four out of five new jobs are in careers that pay less than eight pounds an hour and zero-hour contracts are more and more common. According to Cowan, the growth of jobs at the bottom of the income scale is because some work can't be replaced by technology. There's your bill for you. A great many low-paid jobs, especially in service sectors, they cannot be easily automated anytime soon. Think of the people who greet you when you enter a restaurant. Think of people who help you with small tasks in department stores. Maybe your smartphone can do some of that, but those jobs will continue to proliferate. Your work suggests that inequality is going to increase. Do you think that's a problem? I think we will have more people in the lower middle class over time, and they will be seriously stretched and pinched when it comes to affording some of life's necessities, and that absolutely is a problem. 
I think we'll have a great technological boom, but the gains from that will be distributed quite unevenly. How can politicians avoid creating a much bigger permanent underclass of low-paid people? It's not the case that human jobs are going away, but the new jobs of the future will revolve around the question, how well do you work with these machines? And if that's not an area where you currently feel you're very skilled, I would say now is a good time to start to think about retraining. If you study machine learning or artificial intelligence and you're involved with making computers more productive and having computers make you more productive, then in the future to come you will probably earn a lot more and you will be in higher demand. So I think of the world as falling into one of two sides of this divide. Are you competing against computers or are computers working to enhance your value? There will be standard wheels with precision balancing. When British industry was hollowed out in the 20th century, it opened up political divides that lasted generations. Hard choices lie ahead for whoever is in power. Should the government increase taxes at the top to subsidize those at the bottom? Or say, the rise in inequality is inevitable. There's nothing much that can be done about it. If technology is hollowing out middle-class jobs, and leading to wider income inequality, then this becomes the dominant challenge for my generation. How we respond has the potential to shape global politics and economic policy for decades to come. There are trailblazers. Countries like Singapore have re-engineered their education system to create more high-value jobs in lucrative fields like software, life sciences and robotics. If we do the right things, we can end up with more wealth and opportunity. If we don't... We all know our place, but what do we get out of it? It's not just the middle class who will suffer, it's everyone. <laughs>